Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video where I want to tell you about and show you a new piece of hunting gear that I purchased on a budget. Now, if you've already seen the thumbnail and the title, then you probably know what I bought, but I wanna give you some background to the story before I dive into this product and show you exactly what I got. Back in the beginning of January, my wife actually looked at me one day and said, Nathan, I think you should buy a gun on inauguration day. Now, that was a very random thing to say. Uh, because I bought a lot of guns in my lifetime prior to our marriage, but I've not bought any guns since we've been married. I really didn't think anything of it, just let it go. And uh, But on inauguration day, my wife and I were walking through Walmart, and as I always do, I was in the sporting goods section. And I happened to look over and notice that they had some inline muzzle loaders on pretty significant clearance. Now, I had already been thinking over the last couple months, you know, I've never owned an inline muzzle loader. I think it'd be kind of cool to add one to the arsenal. We don't have a really great inline season here in Pennsylvania, but I figured, hey, it'd be something fun to add to the season. I could use it in rifle season if I wanted to. Just another uh, weapon to use in the, the hunting woods. Unfortunately, on that particular day, when I found them on clearance on inauguration day, um, we had a lot of stress in our lives. I found out about a bill that I wasn't expecting. I found out uh, some bad news about a family member's health. Our car was packed to the hilt because we were actually getting ready to leave on quite a long business trip. And there's just a lot of things going on that day. And my wife looked at me and said, hey, I told you to buy a gun inauguration. If you wanna buy it, go ahead and get it. But I knew in my heart uh, that I was under too much stress to make a really wise decision um, about that gun. I wasn't sure if it was really what I wanted, if it was really a good deal. I knew it was, seemed like a good deal because it was on clearance, but I just couldn't really feel like I was making a wise and informed decision, well thought out, under the amount of stress that I was feeling at that moment. So I knew instead of making a bad decision, it'd be better for me to walk away. And I did. I walked away, but then over the next couple weeks, I really, uh, you know, I began to really kick myself for letting that opportunity get away at a really good deal. So like I said, we were getting ready to travel on this long business trip. Well, fast forward a, a week or two, we're in a totally different state, uh, probably almost a thousand miles away, and I'm walking through a Walmart, and I happen to see that they have muzzle loaders, inline muzzle loaders on clearance again. And while I don't remember all the exact models and prices at the first Walmart versus the second Walmart, I feel like what was at the second Walmart actually had some nicer models for really even a, a better uh, clearance price. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd even be able to buy it as a non-resident of that state, but I asked uh, around and found out that I could and did a little bit of research and went ahead and decided to pick up one of these inline muzzle loaders. And here is what I got. I'll show it to you in the box first and then I'll pull it out and show you. Uh, I got a CVA Optima V2 and scope and scope mount included. Sorry that I'm kind of close to the camera here. I'm still traveling and I'm in an apartment and this is just the space I have to work with. So I got a CVA Optima V2. What did I pay? I paid $200, again, scope included. Normal price on this is 300, I think it was 58 or $68. And so I had a pretty significant discount there. I haven't done the math, what is that? Not quite 50%, maybe 40% off or something. A pretty significant discount. They also had some there that were the CVA Wolf rather than the Optima. And I think they may have had a traditions there. They had some that were as cheap as $125 without the scope included. Um, that would have been super, super budget friendly, but I felt like this is what I wanted. And let me pull it out and show you. Uh, it is the CVA Optima V2. And the one that I got has this real tree stock and it has a stainless steel barrel. Now the stainless steel barrel is one of the reasons I chose this particular one. Uh, I really wanted that stainless, hopefully make it a little bit easier to keep clean and not any, having any issues with rust. They did have a very similar model there that had a little different camel pattern and it had a thumb hole stock and Cerakote. That one I think was $250 rather than the $200 that I spent for this particular model. Um, and I really considered it, but I felt like that was just more than I was willing to spend. And I didn't care for the thumb hole stock. The Cerakote looked really nice and I'm sure would have been an added layer. It was Cerakote on top of a stainless steel barrel. I'm sure that would have been an added layer of rust protection, but it just was more than I was willing to spend. I didn't go with the absolute cheapest model available, but I just wasn't willing to go up to that $250 price point when this gun right here, I think is gonna do me just fine. Now I wanted to uh, wait and kind of do this video and maybe it could be more of a review. I could uh, take it out to the range and shoot it and uh, really give you the whole experience for this video. I'm not gonna do that for this reason. I bought this gun, it was a week or two ago now, but just in case maybe your local Walmart would have some inline muzzle loader still on clearance, I wanted to go ahead and get this video out now 
so that you could go ahead and check. I'm guessing a lot of places are getting sold out, but I did hear that pretty much all Walmarts uh, were all gonna be on clearance because that clearance came from the head office. That's what the employee told me when I bought this. So it may be worthwhile going and checking your local Walmart to see if they have any of these still on clearance. I'm really excited. I'm hoping maybe to get to use this to hunt this coming hunting season. Uh, this is a break action uh, inline. So you put your primer in back here. It's also gonna be super easy to clean because it has this removable uh, breech plug. And so you can just run your cleaning rod right down through it or even on load it if you didn't get a chance to shoot it on your hunt. Uh, the scope is a Konus Pro 3 to 9 by 40. I'm not really familiar with Konus scopes. I'm gonna assume for the price that I paid that it's a pretty cheap scope, but it does have different lines in there. And it came with a booklet to tell you um, how to use those different lines for different yardages and different distances. Again, here's your breech plug. So anyways, overall, I just uh, am super excited. I've never owned one of these before. I've got to get all the powder and the, the, the pellets and the, the bullets and the primers and the cleaning equipment, all that. I still got to get all that stuff for it, but um, I'm excited to hunt with this this year. And I'm really excited uh, that really in my mind, I got uh, this brand new muzzleloader for the price that I probably would have paid if I had gone out and bought a used one. And I did that, I believe because I really made the right decision by passing the first opportunity when I knew I was under stress and then being able to go and look at this on a stress-free day and make an informed decision and uh, I was ready to go ahead and make that budget purchase. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm making it now so that maybe you have an opportunity to get out to your Walmart and check if they might not have any more inline muzzleloaders on clearance that you would be able to pick up as well. Hopefully I'll see more of this in the future. Let me know what you think of this video and until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.